Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The exact structure of nature, the Konzo consciousness, and boat cruises offer glimpses of diverse flora and fauna, showcasing the delicate equilibrium of nature. The commitment to sustainable practices becomes evident as tourists marvel at Uganda's natural beauty while minimizing their ecological footprint. Birding in the mountain forested zones adds a melodious dimension to the adventure. The wealth of avian species, including endemics, transforms the journey into an ornithologic. The recognary is British Irish Irish yes harmoniously. The Bakanjo people's cultural identity is further enriched by their spiritual beliefs, where two supreme beings, Kalisa and Nyabarika, play integral roles. Kalaisa, depicted as a monster with unique physical attributes, holds significance in the context of hunting, a cherished occupation among the Bakanjo. Nabarika, on the other hand, is believed to possess unparalleled spirit veils of Renzori Mountain reveals and explicated to Kalaikishans. The deeply ingrained spiritual connection the Bakanjo maintain with their natural surroundings. The Bakanjo people's cultural narrative extends beyond the practicalities of daily life, encompassing spiritual beliefs that shape their worldview and connection to the natural world. The deities Kalisa and Nyabarika hold a profound significance not just as spiritual entities, but as guiding foils of the Renzori Mountain signifies of the Bakanja life. Earthly realms intersect, emphasizing the inseparable link between the Bakanjo people. Deeply embedded in the cultural tapestry of the Bakanjo transcends mere subsistence. It is a ceremonial activity, a communal endeavor, and a spiritual engagement. The array of traditional hunting instruments, coupled with the involvement of dogs, attest to the complexity of their hunting practices. The covenant hunting tree of the census sacrifices to Kalisa and Nyabalika before embarking on a hunting expedition not only reflects a cultural tradition, but also reveals the spiritual dimensions intertwined with their everyday lives. Agriculture as another integral component of Bakanjo life, reflects a dynamic relationship with the land. The cultivation of staple crops meets their diagriculture and dynamics. A diversified lied-like stratodynamics of the tree, resilience within the community. This harmonious balance with nature 
is indicative of a cultural ethos that values sustainability and resourcefulness. Marriage customs and social structures provide insights into the intricacies of Bakanjo society. The practice of early marriage and the meticulous negotiations surrounding bride wealth reveal a social fabric woven with traditions that endure through generations. The rarity of taking stable arms, providing continuity and cohesion within the Bakanjo community. The impact of education and modernization on Bakanjo culture is a nuanced interplay between preservation and transformation. While certain rituals, like Ohasa, have waned in the face of external influences, unique forms of communication, such as the father-to-son whistling, persist as a testament to the community's commissions. The Bacanchavasid tapestry, tapestry, agricultural practices, and intricate social customs. Their ability to navigate the complexities of modernity while preserving the essence of their cultural identity exemplifies resilience and adaptability. As the Bakanjo traverse the terrain of tradition and change, their cultural tapestry remains a living testament to the enduring spirit of the community as intricately woven into the fabric of their daily lives, revealing a harmonious God Their spiritual beliefs, anchored by the reverence for two supreme beings, Kalaisa and Nyabarika, the construction of shrines dedicated to these deities on the slopes of the Ronzori Mountain signifies a deep-rooted connection between the Bakanjo and the natural environment that surrounds them. Hunting, a practice deeply embedded in Bakanjo culture, extends beyond a mere means of sustenance. It is a cultural ceremony, a kanjo culture, and a spirit of the 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 fear and a sense such as spears, nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs. underscores the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal hunting troops, governed by established rules and rituals, emphasize the collective nature of this ancient practice. Supplications and sacrifices offered to Kalaisa and Nabalika before a hunting expeditions under Thobindulvid Agriculting with time to include both subsistence and can 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 cash cocks, potatoes, cassava, and beans meets the community's dietary needs. While the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflects their adaptability to changing economic landscapes. The dual focus on agriculture and animal husbandry reveals a diversified approach to livelihood, enhancing both food security and economic resilience within the community. The practice of early marriage, the practice of early married at the age of, or highlighted at the age of, or by persisted through generations. Marriage negotiations, bride wealth obligations settled in goats, 
and the rarity of divorce underscore the importance placed on maintaining traditional family structures and societal norms. These customs serve as markers of social identity and continuity within the Bakanjo community. Education and modernization have undoubtedly brought about changes in certain aspects of the conjugal external self external social socialization of unique forms of communication, such as the father to son whistling amidst the influx of modern influences, highlights the community's commitment to preserving elements of their cultural heritage. In conclusion, the Bakanjo people's way of life is a tapestry woven with threads of spirituality, hunting traditions, agricultural practices, and intricate social customs. Their ability to comply regate the, the complexity of this community. Their cultural tapestry continues to be a testament to the rich and dynamic heritage of a people shaped by the mountains and traditions that define them. The elaborate rituals associated with hunting among the Bakanjo reflect not only a means of sustenance, but a profound cultural practice. The use of spears, nets, bows and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, showcases the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal aspect of Hunchuichi, including offerings and protective measures against angry spirits, adds a layer of reverence to this age-old practice. The Bakanjo's agricultural practices also embody a harmonious relationship with the land. The cultivation of crops such as matoke, yams, and cassava sustains the community's nutritional needs. While the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflect diversified livelihood strategies, Adopted by the Kaja community. The practice of early marriage and intricate marriage customs provides a glimpse into the social fabric of the Kanjo society. While some traditions, like the exchange of gifts to signify interest in a newborn girl, have evolved with time, others, such as the emphasis on circumcision as a rite of passage, remain deeply entrenched. The complexities of marriage negotiations, including bride relocations and the rare occurrence of divorce, influence certain aspects of Bakanjo culture, contributing to shifts in practices like Alhahasa and altering traditional communication methods. However, the enduring presence of age, old customs, the continued reverence for spiritual beings, and the preservation of unique forms of communication, the Bakanjo people present a captivating cultural narrative shaped by the interplay of agriculture, hunting traditions, the Bakanjo culture, their ability to adapt to external influences while preserving core elements of their identity highlights the dynamic nature of their cultural heritage. As the Bakanjo navigate the challenges of a changing world, their rich tapestry of traditions remains a testament to the resilience and vitality of this unique community 
in the mountain to offer a cultural exchange but to his local communities. The Bacanzo culture adventure is that on only only churches foster a mutual understanding that transcends cultural boundaries. Travelers become contributors to the socio-economic fabric of the Bacanzo community, leaving a positive impact on the communities they encounter. Against the backdrop of the Western Rift Valley base and the Renzori Ranges, the adventure unfolds as a visual symphony. The picturesque create an ideal canvas of the natural heritage, the natural heritage, the Tudorland. Culture adventure emerges as an immersive and transformative experience. It transcends the conventional boundaries of tourism, inviting travelers to not only explore the richness of a unique tribe, but to actively participate in the preservation of cultural traditions and the conservation of Uganda's unparalleled natural wonders. Pomoja tours an open invitation for adventurers seeking a journey that resonates with spirit of responsible exploration of Hiroshima communities. The Bakanjo predominantly inhabit the district of Kasis, outnumbering the Bamba and Bambuti. Bikanjo are often described as short and stout. According to legend, the Bikanjo once resided on Mount Elgon in eastern Uganda. During the Kintu migration, they joined Kintu and other groups on their way to Buganda. However, instead of settling in Buganda, the climate reminiscent of Mount Elgon, the Smigera, Another tradition suggests that the Bakanjo have inhabited Mount Runzori since time immemorial. However, this simplistic origin story is not universally accepted. Given the Bakanjo's Bantu linguistic affiliation, a more plausible assertion is that they trace their origins to the Congo region, the birthplace of other Bantu groups. Marriage among the Bakanjo of a boy's significant a boy's initiation. Social relation, bride wealth obligations, usually paid in the form of goats. The number of goats depended on the economic status of the families involved, and additional items like a digging stick and an animal skin were included. In modern times, a hoe and a blanket have replaced the digging stick and the skin. Divorce was rare, but in such cases, all bride wealth goats were returned. Unmarried girls were expected to be virgins, and a girl to practicality of expanded the talent, beliefs that shaped their worldview and connection to the natural world. The deities Kalesa and Nyabarika hold a profound significance, not just as spiritual entities, but as guiding forces influencing various facets of Bakanjo life. The construction of shrines dedicated to these deities on the slopes of the Renzori Mountain signifies a sacred landscape where the spiritual and earthly realms intersect, emphasizing the inseparable link between the Kanjo Kanjo ceremonial activity a communal endeavor, and a spiritual engagement. The array of traditional hunting instruments, coupled with the involvement of dogs, attests 
to the complexity of their hunting practices. The communal hunting troops, governed by established rules and rituals, underscore the collective nature of this ancient practice. The act of offering supplications and sacrifices to Kalaibalia before embarking on a hunting expatwined with their everyday lives. Integral component of Bakanjo life reflects a dynamic relationship with the land. The cultivation of staple crops meets their dietary needs. The incorporation of cash crop signals an adaptability to changing economic dynamics. The coexistence of agriculture and animal husbandry portrays a diversified livelihood strategy, enhancing both food's economic resilience within the community. Marriage Kosovalis and Marriage Intricacies of Bakanjo Society The practice of early marriage and the meticulous negotiations surrounding bride wealth reveal a social fabric woven with traditions that endure through generations. The rarity of divorce underscores the significance attached to maintaining stable family structures and adhering to societal norms. These customs serve as pillars of social identity, providing kanjo 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 to ye. Up to this point, watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times, as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Thank you.